fill in as you go, all right? So for solutions. So these are the solutions for our test. First thing you want to do is balance your equation. So it's 2 and 2. So our ideal number of moles is 2 moles. That's 1 mole. That's 2 moles. Okay. Now, you were given 12 moles of hydrogen. So that's your real. And excess oxygen. So we can leave oxygen out of, out of the picture. We don't need to consider it. So this one's just a simplified version. So we're actually trying to find this value here. That's our target. So we're going to set up our magic triangle. Right? So N of H2O over N of H2. And we're going to put that up against what we actually have. N of H2O over N of H2. Again, it's all about our ratios. Okay. So N of H2O over 12 moles that we actually have. So we would have produced two moles here, two moles there. So if we had 12 moles, for real, of H2, since it's the same amount, 2 to 2, then it's going to be 12 to 12. In this case, we don't need to find the mass of anything. Now, I'm hoping that should actually be obvious because if that's 2 to 2 there, then this should be the same there. It would scale up exactly the same by the same amount. Now, the question, though, if we go back to it, is to find out how many molecules of water, which is N of H2O. So that keys us to our triangle, our magic triangle. So N of H2O is little n of H2O times Avogadro's number. I'm going to move this over a bit. Twelve moles times six point zero two two times ten to the twenty three molecules per mole. Brings us to seven point two, and that's fine if you just went to two significant digits because we had twelve moles there. But remember to move that over, okay? Uh, some people put 72 point whatever, 26. So remember to move it, move the decimal place over. And that changes this value, okay? So if it's a big number and you want to move the decimal place over, the exponent's power is going to increase. Minor error, but it's important. Scientific no notation, okay? So there's your answer for that one.